spirit was like immediately like straight to the point. This is a love reading. Energies and roles can be reversed. Time could be fluid, meaning this could, this is, I mean, obviously this is somebody you know, this is somebody from the past. You know who this is and they are obsessively like, I don't know, watching you, stalking you. They miss you quite a bit. Oh my gosh. This person is like stalking you on social media, on Facebook, like wherever you post stuff. If you're telling people about your business on what you do on a regular basis, honey, this person is like, they're definitely watching. Okay. So just be mindful of that. Whether you care or you don't, I don't even care if you're like, oh, I blocked this person they got a fake profile or they have somebody watching them and then reporting back or they're like hey bro sis can i use your phone let me check something real quick and then they go in through somebody else's account to like go look at whatever it is that you have going on and the thing is is like i'm just gonna tell you right off the bat you were in a relationship with this person whatever the label they regret that Whatever they did to you, they know they were wrong because this person wants your forgiveness. They're in the energy of like accepting they fucked up and they know they can't change the past. They know for some of y'all, this person is having dreams. They can't sleep. They're having dreams of like the past, like the past times that the two of y'all had or the conversations y'all had the good times that you had some of you if you had a family with this person they're thinking about the time that you spent with with them you know um the, the things that you did when you traveled and had a great time like that's this energy this person is thinking about this well really this ten of cups it should, it goes it, this is how this came out i'm just saying like I just, this person really wants to talk to you. What came after the nine of swords is the page of wands. You could be dealing with a younger fire sign here, but like, or you don't have to be, but somebody could, somebody could be a Sagittarius, but they don't have to be. But this person is stressing over the fact that they can't talk to you or they want to talk to you. You know, what you don't know is, well, do I, where do I want to start here? Cause there's a lot to unpack. Like, there's a lot to unpack. Because there's a third party. There's a third party. There, this person is with somebody else. They got a whole family or a whole side. I don't know. They got somebody. They got multiple people. <laughs> this person is, is seeing and sleeping with multiple people. They definitely got somebody else. Because they. I feel like this person has a main and then a, a bunch of other people. And then there's you. There's a main, a bunch of other people, and then there's you. And obviously, to me, from the energy that I'm seeing, that no one else compares to you, but that still doesn't make it right, right? That's just not what collective is on. Like, you could do better. And, and the spirit has said, like, and I really feel like you guys have, you know you can do better. And it was difficult getting over this person, and you accepted things for what they were, and you tried to move on and heal. But I feel like you guys set boundaries. You said, no, I don't want anything to do with that. So you're leaving this person on red. You're leaving this person on red. They could be texting you. Somebody could be blocked. They're, or whatever it is that they're sending you or trying to say to you, you're like, no, thank you. I don't have anything to say to you. I don't want anything to do with you. Go over there. Be with, be with Keisha, Kevin. I don't know. But the sad part about it is this person... They think you've moved on or they're really nervous that you're going to move on. And they really don't want you to move on with anybody else. Like, this person really doesn't want you to move on with anybody else. But what's so crazy about that is the person that the main knows about you or one of these people know about you or maybe all of them know about you because nobody compares to you. Remember that. Somebody is jealous of you, collective. And if for a lot of y'all, it's the main person that's jealous of you. So not only do you have the masculine or the feminine stalking you on social media because you're all they think about. They're dreaming about you. They are texting you, wanting to call you, whatever it is. They, they're watching you. I feel like multiple people are stalking and watching you because I feel like you are in star energy. That's right. 
th this person thinks about you as soon as they wake up and then before they go to sleep. The person that they are with, when they're with them, they think about you. They're not in love with this person anymore. And the sad part about it is the third party knows it, which is why they are jealous. Some of y'all are dealing with, I mean, really everybody's out here, but Taurus Virgo, Virgo Capricorn came out quite specifically. This person is thinking about what they can do to get back in your good graces, how they can get you to talk to them. For some of y'all, even how they can win you back and pull you back into a third party situation. Because I'm planning on out how to win you back is here. I want to start a family with you. This person is delusional as fuck. How dare they? How Now explain to me, Sway, how you got a whole nother person and some extra people in the mix. And you and you want to start a family with the collective and you want the collective's forgiveness. You don't want the collective to move on to be with anybody else, but you could be with everybody else. Make it make sense. It, do, it don't make sense. So this is why I'm saying somebody is delusional. Bro, this person wants Ace of Cups. I mean, I'm sorry, Ace of Pentacles, Five of Wands. They can't bring you this Ace of Pentacles and this Five of Wands because of all this other drama or there's drama over them offering something to someone else for some of y'all. Shit, I feel like this person chose drama over just being given into their highest self and making the right decision but that's what happens when you choose something else now you gotta pay for the choice that you made now now you gotta own up to the karma now you gotta own up to the karma so now this person is looking like this hmm what else here for this person that misses the collective Show me about this person that's missing the collective. They see you, this person sees you as abundant. They see you as strong. They see you as independent. They see you as somebody who can do whatever it is that they want to do when they get ready to do it, whether you have kids or not, okay? I, they see you as somebody who's stable, single, and abundant, and they worship the ground that you walk on. For some of y'all, this is weird, I know, but they like your feet. Somebody has a foot fetish, or they really love your feet. Mm -hmm. What was they? What was what was y'all doing over there? Hmm. Show me, show me the energy of the person. Show me more that miss misses the collective. Okay. Foot fetish. I'm telling you, this person worships the ground that you walk on. Look at this. We have two people. We have one masculine, King Cups, could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, and then look what came out, Taurus. Virgo, Capricorn energy. Two people. Either, like I said, somebody got somebody else. They got a maid and they got a mistress. Well, who, is that Waka Flocka? I got a maid. I got a mistress. Yeah. yeah. Or they see you as, like I said, independent free, single, but these people here in this deck aren't the free and single people. They're doing well and they're stable, but <sighs> show me, this is, this person is, this is why this person's watching you because they're very attracted to you. They see you as somebody abundant, but I, show me this person's energy, please. Show. They got two people out here on this. Show me this person's energy. Yeah, they don't know what they want to do. They don't know, even though they make this, I believe this is how this person feels, but they don't know what they're still going to do yet here. Three of Pentacles and a Two of Swords. This person does not know who to pick, where to be, what time to be there, because they got too much going on. They, it's, it's too much. Show me this person's energy. They know who they want to sleep with. Ace of Wands. They know who they want to sleep with. I'm telling you. A, mm. So what they don't know who they want to be with, but they know who they want to sleep with. Look at that. 
Ten of Swords. This person was in denial about what they did. Not anymore. They're holding back. They're holding back from talking to you and taking any action towards you because they know they put you in this Ten of, ten of Swords energy. And now they're regretting that. And they're accepting, like I said, that they can't change anything. So what? I, I really don't know if I see this person. Um, so what does this have to do with the collective? Because I don't see this person doing anything. It's just the energy of how they feel. I don't see them acting on how they feel. Why, what does this have to do with the collective? Why do they, why do they need to know this? There go that damn King of Cups again. Came right back out after I put him back in the deck. Oh, hold on. Child, there go that Ace of Pentacles again on the bottom of the deck with that Nine of Wands. This person is not giving up. They're, they're stuck in their head. Remember, I said they haven't, they weren't, they didn't say anything or they weren't going to take any action because they weren't unsure. The Eight of Swords the energy is in their, in their head. All these secrets. I, or all this negative self-talk. Yeah. They know they... Mm, okay, anyway. They know what they did. So, what does this have to do with you? This king, this, this king of cups just came back out. Six of pentacles, right? This person wants to, was definitely given to two people, but they know they can't continue to do that if they're going to come back towards you, right? And the six of pentacles can also just be somebody want, wanting to give an equal give and take or somebody here. But the thing is, in this deck for me, um, and this is also about giving and receiving. And this person knows they're going to have to give something in order to receive something, okay? And what they know they got to give... They got. They know what action they need to take is to walk away from something. Eight of Cups. Because this is me asking. They're walking away from the Eight of Cups to this Two of Cups. This is because I'm asking, what the hell does this have to do with you, right? Well, what this has to do with you is, obviously, we know this person was giving more than to to two people. Um, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like this person wants to come back and. They might be walking away from something. They don't want to give up on the connection between you and them. And they want to come in and offer this Ace of Pentacles. That's what this looks like. But let's pull some more cards and see what other details we get here. Very, very emotional person. This person comes across as very emotional. Like, mm, as soon as I say emotional... The, the the devil card comes out. It could be dealing with a Capricorn. Yeah, toxic ass. Look at this shit. When is the last time we saw the devil card and uh, the seven of swords follow the devil card? You see what I'm saying? They gave the two people. Oh, lying ass. I don't know. Anyway, let me straighten up my face and get my act together. I love y'all. Okay. It just makes me mad sometimes because... Y'all deserve a, way more than this. And I know you know that, but still, people just be trying the hell out of you, playing in your face and in your energy. And look, there goes your energy. They're hoping and praying and wishing, like I said, during star energy. Sorry, YouTube. I didn't mean to show that card. I, for, I keep forgetting. I got to take a marker and put in. Yeah, I'm going to do that. <sighs> show me more here. Mm -mm. Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Wish Fulfillment twice. The Star, Aquarius Energy, the Nine of Cups to a Wish Fulfillment. So this, give me one more. Ten of Wands. One more, please. And the Justice card. This person is getting their karma or they're going to get their karma. They are going to get their karma for coming in and putting you in a third party situation and breaking your heart and offering you little to nothing. Mm -hmm. This was revealed to you and you moved on. Show me more here. Could be dealing with a Libra with the Justice card being here. Um, Just know if you take this person back or you think about having a conversation with them, they have karma that they've got to deal with or they're dealing with it now. 
this person is definitely an overthinker and that makes total sense because the eight of swords is here this person is driving them themselves insane obsessing and thinking about you thoughts of them are consuming them like i said i mean well like they said no nah, i didn't say it they said it they said i think about you when i'm with them i think about you when i'm with them several people multiple people the main the main person Show me more. Show me more. They're watching you on social media. They got a fake profile. I told you they hide in their ass. I told y'all. I told y'all. <laughs> this person is trying to figure out. They really want to show themselves. They really want to show themselves and say forgive me and, uh, and and ask for your forgiveness but like i said they're a player they got multiple multiple they really like have some growing to do here i you know love ain't enough i don't i don't care you know that's what i always say here love is not enough here this person's gonna have to show you and i feel like you've expressed that to them um, you know, this person feels like they can't run away from the thought of you. They love you. They can't escape how they feel about you. This per twin flame. Oh, shit. <sighs> Some of y'all dealing with the twin. Definitely third party. Five of, five of wands energy here. Like I said, look what the card says. Knowing they fucked up. Freedom. Somebody wants their freedom. Somebody wants to be in this Nine of Pentacles energy. They want the freedom to pursue you so they can come have a family with you. So, like, if you got somebody else and they have a family, what are they going to do with this family? What, what are they going to do with this family? Somebody's getting ready to come towards you and conf confess and reveal how they really feel, what they've been going through here. I feel like this person has been... There's a lot of mirroring happening here you know what though this person's taking a look at their this is them accepting what's going on with them accepting that they can't change the past accepting that they know they fucked up and again spying and watching and is look, looking you up all in your energy i feel like you guys are just doing your own thing. You're not bothering anybody. You don't even really care. You're not concerned about this person. But this person is in your in, on your social media, wherever you are, reading the comments, trying to figure out who's responding, who's talking to you, who liked the picture, like that kind of crazy shit. A fake account. I can't make it up. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's out here three times. You better go through your stuff and make sure you know who this person is. This person is really upset and trying to control their anger or somebody here is upset trying to control their anger here. I don't know what that's about. That could be that third party. You could be, just be focusing on your own money here or this is this person trying to get their money up. But I feel like this is you healing, focusing on your money, focus, getting money from your purpose, making more money, doing better in that star energy, you know. Um, ooh, somebody got caught cheating here. Some of y'all, somebody got caught doing something with one of these other extras. One of the movie extras, they either got one of the movie extras pregnant or somebody got caught cheating with one of the movie extras or maybe they got somebody pregnant. I don't, I don't know, but it's, it, it you yeah. Beware, beware, beware. Um, John B. I do is playing right now. What you say, boo? Would not ask if you. Uh, if I ask, would you say I do? Basically, I do. Y'all gonna say I do? If they ask you, are you gonna say I do? Because they ready to take this leap of faith. And give you this Ace of Pentacles, even though, <laughs> you know, they with somebody else. I don't, I don't know. This kind of sounds a little delusional to me, but remember, some of y'all, maybe somebody plays basketball. Somebody could be over six feet. 
Um, somebody definitely loves feet as well. Could be dealing with a Libra, an Aquarius, a Capricorn, a Cancer, a Leo, <clears throat> um, a Taurus, Virgo. But honestly, could be anybody, a younger Sag. Um, child. Remember, this person started sleeping with all these other people because they couldn't forget about you. But see, the problem with that is when you do that, you go around creating and picking up karma. And then that karma has to be repaid. That debt has to be repaid. And that's not collective your debt to repay. That's this person's debt to repay. So it's unfortunate. Um, but do, do you want to be paying back somebody else's karmic debt? And I know you don't. Your spirit guys have already told you, hey, we going to send you somebody better. The answer is no. Not with this person. Leave this person on red. Set boundaries. Don't respond to them. <clears throat> anyway, I love y'all. Hit the like button. Join us on Patreon. I'm running a special one question, 10 minutes for $10 through Scorpio season. So um, check the special out or join us on Patreon. We do Twin Flame, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine readings over there. Otherwise, if this is where we end... Uh, oh, subscribe too, y'all. You better subscribe. I love y'all. You know that. Bye.